What's up guys? In this video, we are going to create and modify levels in our fire station building models to control the vertical extents of the foundation, walls, and roofs. Okay? So, let's do this. So, you can use your own exercise file. You can create a new project using architectural template for you to be able to follow this exercise. Okay? So, I'm going to open the elevation here, like the east elevation. So let me open that one. Double click. Okay, and say, I, as you can see here, so we have two default levels. So let us just change the name here of, let's say, level 2. Let's click that. Click again and then to change it. Just type uh, TO footing or top of footing and then press enter. Okay, and then after that, we are going to select here, uh, would you like to rename corresponding views? So I'm going to select here, yes, but before that, let me just check this one so that this dialog box will not appear again. So I'll just select here, yes. Okay, so top of uh, footing. Okay, so as you can see, my project browser here updates as well. So there's my top of footing. So that's, uh, that was my level 2 before and it was renamed to T of footing, top of footing. So now I'm going to change the value of this. So instead of 4,000, so I'm going to click that. By the way, another way to change the value or rename the, the level is by going to your properties. Let me just isolate my properties. Then put this on my side here. Okay. So another way is you can select your level. And then after that, you can change here the elevation. So that one. So that's 4,000. So it's the same as this one here. And then you can also change here, uh, change here the name of your level. Okay. So let's change the elevation. So I'm going to change that to 38,400. Enter. So it will now go up. There you go. Okay, and then after that, let us also rename the level 1. So instead of level 1, so I'm going to select this. By the way, you see, whenever I select my, any element, it's still colored blue, right? So sometimes it, for me, it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult to identify if it is selected or not. So that's why what I'm going to do is, I'll go to File, and then after that, I go to options. So there's an options here, this one. So just go to options. And then we will be selecting, let's just wait. Okay, so let's select colors here. Colors, okay. So my laptop is having a difficulty loading. So here. For the selection, I'm going to make that red. And then for the pre-selection, instead of blue, I'm going to make that green. Okay. Alright. So if I select any element, it turns to green. Uh, in, it turns to red. And if I hover my pointer over an element, it turns to green. Okay. So let me select here. Okay. So as you can see, I hover my pointer to the level. Okay. Again, it's loading. I need to change my laptop. <laughs> all right okay let's just all right so finish so you see if i hover my pointer over an element any element it turns to green but if i select that it turns to red you see becomes red right so i'm going to select level one and then let me change the name of that i'm gonna change the name here to ground floor okay enter and then i'll change the height so for the height, 39,600, enter. There you go. Let me just zoom out. And there's my ground floor and then my top of uh, footing. So now we are going to create series of uh, levels here. So we're going to create the level for main floor, level for lower roof, main roof, and top of parapet level. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to architecture and then let's select level. The shortcut for level is LL. Okay, so let's click that one. All right, and then you see you have two options here. So you have draw line. The other one is pick line. So let's use draw line first. Okay, so next is I want to have 
my uh, main floor level. Okay, so I want to have the main floor uh, level. Okay, so I'm going to hover my pointer somewhere here. Okay, and then I'm going to pick my point here and then draw my level here. Click that and then I select here, modify. Right, then after that, I will, I'm going to select this and then change the name. So this will going to be my main floor. Enter. And then for the height of my main floor, I'm going to change that to 43,600. All right. And then you will notice that my main floor here, the color is black. Okay. You see the level, uh, the bubble head here of my level, it's color block. While the other two here, it's blue. It's because if it is blue, that means you already have the floor plan associated here on my project browser. So as you can see, my main floor doesn't have a main floor plan here. So there is no main floor here on the floor plan on the ceiling, right? So that's why it's blue. So that's an indication. So just remember that if it is blue color, so that means you already have the associated plan view on your project browser. And then if it is black, so that means that's only a reference level. So there's no associated plan view for that one. Now, if I want to create a plan view for my main floor, say, for example, I want to have a floor plan and ceiling plan for main floor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, modify. And then from the create panel, I can click here the plan views drop down. And then I can select here floor plan. If I select that one, a dialog box will uh, pop up, new floor plan, and then it sh it will show here any level that doesn't have any associated plan view for that level, okay? Which is, in our case, you see there's a main floor here because main floor don't have floor plan yet, okay? So that's why it's already selected. I'll just select here, okay, and there you go. It's just created now the floor plan, the main floor. So if I go back to my south elevation or east elevation, so you can see now that it's already colored blue. Why? Because there's already associated plan view for that level. So if I want to create a ceiling plan for that, so I can click that again, plan views, and then let's go to RCP. RCP stands for Reflected Ceiling Plan. So let's click that. Okay, and then main floor should be selected there. There you go. And then I'll select here, okay. And it will now be added here on our ceiling plans. There you go. Okay, so let's go back to our elevation view. So there's my main floor. Now I want to create the remaining levels here so let's type ll so that's the shortcut for level and then this time i'll be using this one peak lines okay and then if i want to automate the creation of the associated plan view for my level i'm just gonna make sure that create plan view here is checked because by default it is unchecked that's why every time you create level you only create level. It will not create the plan view for that. But if I want automatically create the plan view for the level that I will be creating, so I'll just check that one. And then I'll use this one. So if you use pick, uh, pick lines to create your level, so you need to specify the offset. Okay, so I'm going to specify the offset. So let's say I want uh, 5,000. So from... From main floor, I want 5,000 up, for example. So I'm going to specify here 5,000. And then I'm going to press enter. And then I move my pointer here. I'm going to pan my drawing. And then I hover my pointer. And then there you go. You see the preview of my level. You see the dash line above. So make sure your pointer is just above the main floor level so that the level that you will be creating is above the main floor because if you're going to move your pointer a little lower than the main floor, you see the preview of the level that you will be creating will be below the main floor level, okay? So that's why you need to move that just over the main floor level and then click. There you go. 
Alright, so that's for my uh, lower roof. So I also want to create another one for my main roof. And then another one for my top of parapet level. Okay, and then I'll select here modify. You see, it's automatically blue. Why? Because it automatically creates already the floor plan view for that and then the ceiling plan. Now, let's rename for uh, this one. So, for level 4, that will going to be my lower roof. Enter. And then this one is my main roof. Okay. And then this one is my... Top of parapet. Enter. Okay. And then let us uh, change the height. Okay. So for my uh, lower roof. So that will going to be say 47,600. And then this one is 51,600. And then this one is 52,800. There you go. Okay. Right. So take note that here on the other end of your level, you can also show the level bubble. Okay. The bubble head of your level if you want. So you just need to click the level. And then after that, you can go to the edit type. Click that one to open up the type properties. And... Let's see. All right. So there's my type properties dialog box. You see there's this symbol at end one default. So it's unchecked, right? So I just need to check this one. Okay. And then after that, I'll select your okay. There you go. Okay. So another option is... If, let's say, for example, the naming of your level here is too close to each other, sometimes it's overlapping. So what you can do is you can select one of the levels, say, for example, the top of parapet level. So you can click that. And then you can see there's this icon here wherein you can create a split. So you just click that icon, click that one, and it will create a split there. And then you see that blue node. You can hold your left click and drag that up. Okay, and then tidy up your level. Okay. Just like that. All right. Okay, and then you can also select one of the level. And then you see there's a small circle there. So if you drag that, the other levels will going to be moved as well. There you go. Okay. And then whenever you select a level here, you can see there's a 3D there. So if it is 3D, that means if you are going to adjust this level, the other, on the other view, let's say your lower roof or the other levels here will be adjusted as well. If it is 3D, like for example, if I drag this up to here, so the other levels here, not the other level, but the same level, but on different elevation will be updated as well. So it will be moved as well. So if you only want to move your, your level in this view in, in south elevation, so uncheck this one. So instead of 3D, just click that. All right. And then you can just uh, move that. So it will only affect your lower roof level in your south elevation view. So it will not be affected on the east elevation, northwest. Okay, so that's what the 3D and 2D means on your level. So let me change that one. Click. Hang on. All right. Okay. All right. So that's about for your level. Oh, if you click your level and then go to the type properties again. So one important thing is by default, we are using here a project base point. Okay. So in practice, usually what we use here for the elevation base, instead of project base point, we are using survey point. Okay, so that is what we are using in, in practice. So we are using a survey point instead of the project uh, base point. All right. 
Okay, so basically that's how you create your level. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.